Uh, knock, knock. Uh, who's there? It's the JSPT podcast. Yeah. You got to get better at this. Nah. You're supposed to say JSPT podcast who? I didn't even finish the fucking joke. No, but I don't, I don't, don't want yeah, to. I don't know, bro. I don't want to keep it going, bro. All right. J, JSPT podcast who? Uh, uh, it's the JSPT podcast? I did come up with a second part for this. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This yeah. week's episode brought to you by the concept of time. It is passing as we speak, and you are getting older. Before you know it, it will be gone. But hey, League of Legends turned 10, like, well, I guess in 11 days, it'll be 10. So that's neat. So we're going to be talking about forever games, or games that just last longer than you'd expect any one game to. Not like a an NFL or a Madden where they just churn one out every year. So yeah, so we're talking about an individual like release that just lasts years and years and years. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So like, leagues just turned ten. They've just declared war on <laughs> every single genre and every other game company. They're releasing tons of new stuff in addition to improving their you know bread and butter game league of legends they have i think it's project f is their fighting game no project f is their mmo and dungeon crawler like diablo project a is their overwatch slash csgo style tactical shooter project l is their fighting game uh an esports team builder a new board game uh, a card game called Legends of Runeterra, fucking mobile League of Legends that won't have any crossplay. It'll be totally ground up built for mobile and consoles. And uh, Team Fight Tactics Mobile, which I got an ad for, is actually um, I think it's in the App Store right now or the Google Play Store. Um, yeah, so they got a ton of new stuff. It's crazy. So do you guys want to go through each one and break down how you guys feel? Because you guys are um, more fans of Riot. It's Riot Games, right? Yeah. yeah. They finally have yeah. games. Yeah. So, yeah. That's crazy. It's funny how they were Riot been, Games. Yeah, time, that's, they only have one game. Crazy. Yeah. For, <laughs> until, until <laughs> like, earlier this year, they only had one game. I, I mean, they had a board game, but nobody gave a shit about that in, like, browser games. <laughs> Like, they literally highlighted the S in Riot Games in their announcement thing. Oh, okay, yeah. I bet, yeah. <laughs> That's good for them. Yeah, they're, they're like, yeah, we have more. Yay. <laughs> but I'm glad because more competition in the game market is better for everybody. Um, I don't want to see Overwatch just be the only shooter out there, just like how TF2 was pretty much the only team-based or uh, character-based shooter out there. What do you mean? Because I don't there's, more like than, there's more than Overwatch. I mean, what else is there? Hero shooters. Rainbow yeah. Six Siege is considered a hero shooter, technically. Regard, well, not even technically, it is. Oh, sure. I feel like they fit very different niches. Yeah, I mean, it fits different niches, but they're both hero shooters. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, think but the core like gameplay is so is so like dramatically different that. Or paladins. Sorry. Yeah, but I don't really care about the last time I've seen someone playing that. Probably like Apex Legends game. also Apex technically counts, but yeah, I wouldn't yeah, that's think like that's a hero shooter um, battle royale. But, but I wouldn't think like Apex Legends is like Overwatch, even ignoring the fact that it's a battle royale. There was um, another game that was a hero shooter. What was it? it? Was Battle? Was it Battleborn that like flopped because of Overwatch coming out at the same time? Yeah, Struggleborn. Battleborn. Yep, it was Battleborn. <laughs> that died fast. Oh, that was by yeah. Microsoft. Or not my it was by 2K. 2K. <gasps> I thought Gearbox made Battleborn. Gearbox made it. It was Gearbox. published by but it was published by 2K. 2K. Yeah. It was oh. Gearbox. They 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 lost 2K a bunch of money. There was another game that was also a hero shooter. Now? It was um it had like robot people. 
and it flopped super hard, probably harder than Battleborn. Uh, this game was awesome. Does anybody even wow. remember? <laughs> I think it was that arena shooter with all those. Can't remember the name, but it. it what was I, the... But like, from my knowledge, it didn't do as bad as Battleborn for whatever reason. Not Cold Breaker. It was called something else. Something, something Breakers. Oh, Lawbreakers. Lawbreakers. Thank you so yeah, much. That was Lawbreakers. That yes. Is. Um, because the whole deal oh, is that they yes. broke the laws of gravity and they broke the law because they're like criminal guys or whatever. Or yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gravity good. defined that was epic. game combat. That was by Epic. That was by Epic, yo. Did they pushed it that? super hard. It was good. I don't... Was that? Hold up. I just remember it the Nexon. it was it was it was Nexon published it. Epic didn't make it. Boss Key did. I remember. It, it oh no no no, no 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 no! I think what no I think what it was is that Cliffy B left Epic to make that game and it flopped. Okay. And Cliffy B, um, for anyone who needs to know, is um the guy who pretty much helped, who pretty much made Gears of War, way back in the day. I think he left to go make Lawbreakers. Yeah, yeah, I recognize cool. this guy. And yeah. it had a, and it had a um a very like unreal tournament feel too because he yeah. Let me double check that he worked on Lawbreakers though. He did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I remember this game just had really terrible character designs, like for what a hero shooter should be showing you. The characters don't embody that, like. You can look at any of these characters and they can do like a million different things. There's, it's not really clear. But like, look at Overwatch. You know exactly what Roadhog does. Or mm -hmm. TF2. You know exactly what the sniper does. I mean, his name is literally Sniper. All their, right. names, are just what they, all their names are just what they do. Yeah. But yeah, this one, there's like a guy with, he's blue and he has like a war machine rocket on his back and there's a guy who's big maybe this is a girl who's big i can't even tell one of them doesn't have legs yes. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you that's the fast one probably they have like yeah. knives yeah all right so you guys want to um go through all the league shit yeah we can talk all about that like Let's... you should since you guys both know um Let's see what you want to talk about first, Aaron. Yeah, and didn't you have a list? I mean, a list of games. No, a list of things that happened in League. Oh, the post that you were trying to show yeah. me. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, there are changes to the actual game, but who cares? Because this is all preseason stuff. It'll happen when it happens. Then there's the actual announcements. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, the mobile game, uh, TFT mobile game, the card game. The shooter, dungeon crawler, Diablo thing, the fighting game, which I'm excited about because the Jinx is apparently going to be in it. Yeah, yeah, so let's talk about each and every release. How you guys yeah, are feeling about them? Go down the. Let's go down the list. You just go down the list of what it is, and I'll give an idea or give some. All right. So TFT Mobile, uh, is neat. I guess. I think, I think Team Fight Tactics is really. I mean, obviously, it's just a spinoff of uh, Dota's Auto Chess, but. Like, uh, what they've done with it so far is really cool. Um, I mean, they're always progressing and making it a little bit better. Uh, the fact that you'll be able to play with some people from mobile is also cool. I think that opens up, like, uh, opportunities for people who, you know, sometimes they don't feel like, you know, getting on their PC or, like, they're out and they're bored or, you're, you know, just got some downtime somewhere, like, work or something which i i mean obviously at work you probably should be doing work but let's say you're on break board you want to do a quick little tft match that's pretty cool especially that you're going to be playing with people that are already on like online and that's pretty cool like that they're going to like you know go ahead and start doing this like cross plat thing because then that will make it possible for like maybe what they have been talking about before where they wanted to get it on a console of some sort like uh league on console which yeah, I don't know why they killed that idea, but with them going, like you know, moving forward on all that, that's pretty cool. Well, they have League on console. What? Which console? Well, I don't know which consoles yet. They said they're gonna announce that later, but League of Legends Wild Rift 
is the console slash mobile version of League. Oh, that's going to be on console? Yeah. They rebuilt the whole oh. game from the ground up. New animations, new... Wow, uh, that is a cool game. New it stuff. It looks the same almost, but it's not. It's definitely yeah. different. It's, it'll, yeah, it'll be like Classic League because the actual League is getting a whole bunch of other new stuff to the map that just would not work on mobile. Be yeah, way too or, much. or a console, honestly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, crossplay is cool. TFT is an all right game. I think it's fun. It's they have something about seasons. It was um, seasons with like new packs of people and stuff. That'll be neat. But yeah. yeah, then the next one is the card game. I'm not a big fan of card games. I've never been a huge fan of card games. Like I, I don't understand the hype around uh, Hearthstone. I don't understand. Like, I, Magic. I played card games when I was, like, in grade school, man. When I was freaking first, second grade. I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I did Pokemon. But, like, I, I guess it's the same hype. I guess I grew out of it or something. I'm a weirdo, I guess. Maybe. Mary, you still play uh, card games? I still have cards. Um, I still have a shit ton of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. And occasionally when I feel like when I'm really desperate to just waste my finances, I'll buy more cards. Um, okay. But it's not like I play. I have no one to play with. So, you know, the, um, the, like the most I do is every once in a while, I'll play one of these Yu-Gi-Oh games that I've bought on PC, play that for like probably a couple of days. I'm getting like the itch. But other than that, I've never really been interested in any other card game or board game ever. The only thing I ever fucked with was like Yu-Gi-Oh. I was taught how to play Magic. Actually, is an interesting story. Way back, I was in a hospital for like uh, for like a month or so because of a um, long-term eye issue that was bothering me at the time. It was like maybe like this is over ten years ago, and the and I was sharing a room, like my like my roommate or whatever was this kid who was like a teenager. And he had like diabetes and he was like down and out for it, whatever. I guess he like fucked up with like staying on top of his shit and he needed to stay in the hospital for a little while. And while he was there, he taught me how to play magic. And it was interesting because like it was one of those things where like me and him, you know, was getting close. We were cool. This that and the third. He taught me how to play. I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna start playing this. And literally the day after, because like then he left, and then I got out and I got um discharged the next day. And literally, then like the following day, I was like, mm, "Man, fuck that magic shit." <laughs> that, shit was... <laughs> that game was so fucking slow. I don't know if it is now. Anybody listening might who might know anything about magic, but man, so that shit is just—I don't know—it's whack. It doesn't. And I think what pulled me into Yu-Gi-Oh was just the fact that I had to show the whole formula of a show that grabs kids in, gets them hooked to the to like the lore in the world, and then you introduce the game to them. I think that's the way it should be done. I mean, hell, that that's why Pokemon is still a thing, you know? But I don't know. That whole, mm -mm, yeah. Fuck card games for the most part, you know? <laughs> fuck Blackjack, yeah. fuck poker, fuck all that shit. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those yeah. are fun. That's no, good, they're not uh, fun to me. Time. Fuck, and fuck Uno, too. I don't give a fuck about that. How about, okay. If, okay. Like, if I'm going to play a game with you and I'm using my body, let's go play ball. Like, otherwise, I don't want to I wanna play. Like, I'll play fight. I don't play. I don't, I don't like board games. Like I said, I sound like no board games or tabletop card games. All that, like fuck all that shit. Like, the one thing I, I like want to try. The one thing I want to try is um. So when was the last time you played a card game? If you like them so much. Uh, last week maybe or two weeks ago. What game? Some kind of Disney villain game. They just kind of sprung it on me <laughs> when I went over. Well, but I mean, it was fun, and I was first timing it, and I won. I was playing Doctor Facilier, was my villain character. Doctor Who, from the Princess and the Frog guy. Oh, okay. I'm about yeah, to say, you, you remember him? Like, no, I don't. But he's the Voodoo Man. I don't know him. I don't know Disney shit. But that's a whole other thing. Damn. You know him, right, Josh? Who? Yeah, God okay. damn it! Exactly. <laughs> All right, anyway, yeah, I played that. Um, I occasionally play the game that I'm making. I go to card game tests to test games that other people are making, and they test mine. That kind of deal. Mm -hmm. So pretty frequently, actually. 
Um, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't have the, the will to use my money to keep up with the ever-changing landscape of cards. It's just way too much effort. They yeah, like in something. They yeah, like ban in something. yeah, like whenever I get the man. fucking itch to buy cards, I'm just buying old shit that I wanted years ago, and I just never had a chance to get it. <laughs> yeah, and there's some, I'm never they're buying like, new shit because I because I know I'm not gonna go play with somebody with some new deck and current meta and all that stuff. So also they changed with Link Summoning and Yu Gi Oh Master or whatever. It just kind of took the wind out of a lot of decks that I thought were fun and interesting that are literally unplayable now, like yep. Ghost Tricks. Um, they focus on putting cards face down. The new Link monsters cannot, by the game's rules, under any circumstances, be flipped face down. So they just don't work on them, and it's <laughs> it just screws up the whole point of Honestly, those bro, of cards. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, Ghost Tricks are <laughs> fairly new, but you know about flipping cards face down. Basically, all you need to know is Ghost Tricks need to flip things down. These cards that are new can't be flipped down, and it just ruins them. And I okay. liked Ghost Tricks. But, um, That's kind of crazy. Yeah, the lead card game is whatever. I might play it. I might not. Um, I never played Hearthstone. I thought it was just kind of a. I don't. I want to say ugly, but it didn't look fun. It didn't look fun because of the mechanics that they use, like RNG e and swingy. Maybe in the top levels it's different, but I've never been a top level card game player. Always just got it for fun. I've never even watched watch that shit. <laughs> but I will say, you not liking <laughs> poker is ridiculous. No, uh, it's just the thing is, bro. I really just have no interest in no total board game, bro. All it's the it's money so aspect, boring. though. I don't care. That's what makes it interesting. Otherwise, no, poker for that, jelly beans would suck. No, and and look, that's the thing too. I don't like gambling at all. I think it's one of the dumbest fucking things that people do. And I, I never gamble anything. I never bet people shit. I never. So it's like, I'm, I don't know. All that shit, you, you can miss me with that. And like, if you want to do something IRL and we play in the game, nigga, let's race. Let's play ball. Let's do something like that. I don't, I don't want no parts of no cards, bro. I, I, I don't know how to play Uno. Like, <laughs> like yeah. You get rid of the cards in your hand, whoever has zero I know cards. How to play chess. I, know, I, I know how to play chess, but. So oh, what? I, I, so I just throw the cards down when I start? No, no. So, like, there are cards with... Bro, honestly, it doesn't don't matter. Don't, I, don't, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to remember. Playing Uno for money is fun. Playing Uno for fun is not fun. Playing, playing for money, money, I think, is money. fun. And that, that's the problem. Yeah, because you're not trying to make that money. I am. Very easily. I'll just go to work. I'll just go to work. No, fuck that. No, <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> I'll just bet on snails racing or whatever so what was the next thing that um that these niggas at riot announced oh yeah um their tactical shooter there's like no info about this there's just like that was the only thing that like piqued my interest like for like like i'm like a tiny bit yeah so i guess i'm gonna keep like an eye out for more news if i remember to yeah. as it comes in fps yeah because it like it just looked good and i know that they're a good developer so maybe they could put together a good shooter. Eh, be fun to play. Good development. Eh. It depends. I mean, they can't be that bad, bro. They have like what the number one game in the world. Like, I mean, bad and like good. Like Blizzard is really good at polish. For example, like their games come out and they are very, very good. They're not buggy. They don't fall to shit. They're not super imbalanced or anything. League has only ever been League up to this point, so it's really difficult to say, like, is this going to come out like some <laughs> some of very many League patches where you're just like, what were they thinking? Why did they do this? Mm -hmm. or, or is it going to come out and just be like, oh, this is actually just a good game? Because obviously there has to be new developers on this thing. It's not like the MOBA people just like got up from their chair and said, all right, I'm going to start coding the <laughs> tactical shooter. Yeah. And they just slapped all their assets down. But what I'm saying is there's a method to their success, and I'm just saying that that I think that warrants enough for me to pay attention to what they're doing with the FPS games. I like FPSs. Yeah. It's like, it's like they just have a track record of just releasing dog shit like 2K yeah, they're, they're not all the fucking time. Or high well, I mean, 2K, You can't say 2K is dog shit 2K all is the dog time. Shit. Every, every fucking year, everyone talk, all I hear from 2K players who buy the new 2K game 
It's ass, bro. It's ass. Like, you, your dumb black ass keep buying everything. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I don't know it's what's wrong with them, behavior. Bro. I really don't know what's wrong with them. I be trying to saying. figure it out all the time. Like, I was no, wait, lately... And, I don't, and didn't they publish some um, fucking Borderlands and stuff? Did oh. you can't do Borderlands? Fucking... I don't know if they did Borderlands, bro. Hold on, let me see. Bro, no. Okay, so I was talking... Because I was talking oh, yeah. to... Publishers uh, 2K games and Telltale's. Telltale games. I yeah, mean, they published fucking, it, but... fucking Borderlands 3 is buggy as fuck. Oh, you upset about that? Yeah, I'm so upset that. about this shit. I couldn't even finish the fucking story, which is so annoying. I don't know. I was talking to my brother and uh, my brother-in-law about, I guess, like, 2K and Apex. And I, like, flat out told him, I ain't paid for a 2K in, like, the last four years. And I've been happy about it. Sixty dollars every year for it is annoying, but I don't think Two K is bad. I think Two K has kept the same mechanics in the game, which was one of my biggest problems. Because I mean, if anybody knows the OG, like the original Two Ks, they weren't that good. But Two K Eleven had really good shit. Like it was a good like mechanical wise. I think 2K is a fine game. I just what do you don't mean think it's got the should... same mechanics, bro. No, it hasn't. Well, they changed it. 11? They, 11, they, they changed, like, they they changed, they changed it. it. They changed it from 11. They changed it in 13. Or no, 12. The year right after. And then 12, they kept the mechanics. 13, they changed it. Or not 13. 14, they changed it again. And then they've kept the same mechanics since 14, which is fine. But like I said, I, mean, I think, I well, to, this, to an extent, but most of the time they, they don't touch much. Like, or actually, no. I want. I want to take it back. I think it was. Uh, I think in eighteen they changed it again because now everything just revolves around a stick. Like you don't even you don't even press buttons on it. You just you just use the stick to do everything. Like, That's what I'm saying. Shoot. And it's all annoying. I'm saying is, I get the anecdotes from every year from every fucking black person I know because all these niggas buy it. And every <laughs> single one of them say, "Bro, they done changed shit up and fucked it up again." Da, 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 da. This, that, they that, change that. little things, but they don't change everything. I know, but these little things is fucking this game is doo doo. Like, now, every, I ain't gonna every I try, I'm like, oh, this shit is like, this shit is like, ugh. you said what? I don't mind it. I said, but everyone just plays it. Like, they still gonna play at the end of the day. And then at the end of the day, they don't like 2K bro, necessarily. You know what I mean? Like, I fuck with 2K heavy. But, like, but, but, but I think it's because they have the basketball market thing on lock. No one else oh, yeah, making I mean, good basketball. Live, stop playing. Stop, yeah, like, bring live, up stop NBA messing blitz. with them. It was live that was fucking with them. That was the only. Yeah, people, that was um, the only thing that was fucking with them. And they got a good enough head start. Where they already, you know, like they're better than live. I mean, for me, the one thing I know for sure is just an issue with two K is just like there's just they try to force these extra things, like the whole story mode thing. Like they really forced it down your throat, and you couldn't skip cutscenes and stuff like that for years. <laughs> for years, That's it's like bad. bro. It's like, bro, I just want to play my games with my creative character. I do not give a fuck about this corny ass, terrible ass writing ass, fucking stupid ass story. You niggas can't write a story. This shit is bo- same old thing every year, pretty much. Just like it's just an underdog story every time. Why can't I be the most dominant player coming out of high school one year? Y'all niggas ain't changing. Shut up. And I don't give a fuck. That shit is whack. Um, I think just this year, I think they allowed you to like skip the shit, or maybe last year's too. Nah, players. this apparently what I heard is. Uh, you gotta be real into the story at this time. You can't. You have to play your games. You have to play the story. All right. So, and then, so and then, they just made and it worse. And then, and then moving on, this whole switch to the badges and how grindy it is. It's not a, like they treat the game like it's like a real RPG. It's like, bro, it's a sports sim. Like, I don't, I don't want to have to be grinding this game. Yeah, I've seen some of the grind times for these things are like. You will, if you're like a casual player, you'll hit the stuff that they want by the time the next game comes. When out. they come to my player, they want you to play their game, man, because they was getting tired of motherfuckers just buying VC. They like my brother was telling me at this point, you can buy the VC, but you can only get to max level if you play in the story or playing the um, playing my career every day, because there's like at uh, there's like max is ninety five. No, no, you know? no, no, no. That is not why they did that. They did that shit because niggas was complaining for years that motherfuckers just spent sixty beans when they first got the game on the first day, and they were mad nice literally within five minutes. That's why they did that, Josh, to try to supplement it. But you can still buy mad VC and still boost your character up and still like skip a lot of like. Yeah, you can get to ninety five. But I know. But what I'm saying is they have fixed the issue. 
that they didn't do it to be on some like, oh no, we were actually want people to play our game. If you want people to play our, play your game, then you would take out the microtransactions. No, they're just greedy fucks. Out no damn they're, they're just greedy, bro. They're just greedy fucks, bro. Like, cause also I don't know when, when the last two K game you bought, but I don't buy them every year. I buy them like every other year, every two years. But I've been buying them. Like I'm kind of, like, I kind of have an ear to this shit. And these niggas, and that's why I don't buy them every year, cause they just do shit like this. It's like, bro, I'm not giving you fucking a hundred dollars because I only play this game like two times a week. Cause it's, like, come <laughs> on, bro, it's two K. I don't play that shit all the time. But but when I get on, I don't want to get my shit punched every two seconds. Can I have some baseline level where I start at, or like the grind not be as bad? But whatever. Right. Okay. Well, I guess two K does count as kind of a forever game. Nah, it good. don't. That's that's a every year game. That's a that's an annual game. Well, I mean forever, as in like they're gonna keep because they two K because games. they put you through that same I bullshit want every year. That's a, what it is. I want I want them to be a forever game. Where they, where they stop doing this yearly bullshit and start selling DLCs for 60 bucks. The motherfucker's still going to buy it for 60 Oh, and here's another playing. way that they rob niggas. They turn off the servers from the previous game. Oh, yeah, okay. shit, That's wow. Actually... That is fucking crazy, bro. They turn off servers yeah, and shit, that. bro. Bro, I deadass can't go on my 2K, like, 17 and actually level up my character no more. I can't. Nope. They took that away from me. You got to be off. You got to do That's... offline mode. That's fucking crazy. No, Josh. Josh, you can't even do that. I unplugged my Ethernet cord. I still can't get I can't get no VC. Because it's only VC. There's no more skill points. Oh yeah, that's damn. That's fucking crazy, my nigga. I'm stuck at like whatever number. I'm like 85 overall. It's fucking crazy, bro. I pay sixty dollars just like anybody else. And I also get niggas like 60 beans in VC. Well shit, nigga. You can be who's 85 overall. You can be a rookie. I mean, yeah. year level all the time. Now. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I know, but what I'm saying is like that's crazy. They just that's fucked they, up. Like, imagine if Skyrim just said you can't level up no more after 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 a uh, like a year after release because we coming out with Skyrim two. Get the fuck That'd be out crazy. Of this. I mean, yeah, that'd be like crazy. Dark Souls one server shut down like this or last year, and that game came out in like 2009 or something like that. <laughs> Hey, can't you years. still play it though? It's a single player game. You right? can still play it, but the online is is gone. But they made the remaster, which does have online, so it's not even really that big of a deal. <laughs> but, the, but the you know, but it's like you can still play it and level up and progress through the game like normal. Yeah, everything much. is everything is the same. They took and away then features. Also, they, they took away features the, you know, from you. Like that's crazy, son. But whatever. Yeah. So that was a uh, the tactical shooter one, right? MMORPG slash dungeon crawler. I never liked Diablo games. I thought they were all super tedious. I just watched uh, I just watched someone in our server play a game like Diablo today called Path of Exiles. Yeah, fuck Path of Exile. I don't know how that shit worked. We was watching them. <laughs> we was all in here, bro, Marion. We was all in here, like four of us in here, just watching them play it. Uh huh. Was it just like him spamming like the same thing over and over again for hours on end? I'm pretty sure because one of one of them was like one one person was like, "I'm not gonna lie to you, I have no clue what you've been doing." But it's so entertaining. <laughs> he was like, I don't know what you're doing. I was like, this looked like a fake MOBA. I said, this is like a MOBA. Well, and then someone said, know. it's a single player MOBA. In terms of that top down, like, strategy shit. Because MOBAs require, mul- no, I'm just saying, MOBAs require multiplayer. And it might have been a single player game like a Diablo or whatever that did it first. Yeah, that was the that was they did it first. I remember there was this little game on my, and then, on my no, on but my yeah, mind. but yeah, from my understanding, it's like pretty much what like MOBAs are pretty much like StarCraft. Well, MOBAs are are sprung from um games like that. Yeah, but like what's the meme like, Aeon of RTS? Right? RTS, yeah, RTS. Yeah, 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 like uh StarCraft and shit, right? So yeah. World uh, Warcraft three mods. It was called like dawn of the ancients or rise of the ancients or something like that uh-huh. and that was um basically what started the uh oh defense of the ancients oh my god obviously because that's what dota stands for anyway that was the mod for that map and then that sprung off and became dota 2 and league also sprung off from defense of the ancients and became league of legends and that's what it came from um also there's the uh-huh. instead of moba there's the acronym um Aeon of Strife styled fortress assault game going on two sides. Um, <laughs> I'll let you put together each of those letters and figure out the, the funny acronym meme, but yeah, that's what they are. I just think Path of Exile is stupid and grindy. 
not fun. Or the person I was playing it like grindy games, so it it's makes like sense. A, addictive kind of grindy shit, and I can do repetitive, but I can't do repetitive without some kind of ladder or another human being to fight against. <laughs> I'm not there to just. I would just play chess against the computer all day if I was going to do, uh, you know, anything even resembling Path of Exile. Like, have you seen their skill tree? Like, look at Path of Exile skill trees. Yeah, no, he was telling us about that, too. He said that you can pretty much do anything because uh, they're fucking massive. Jardy, he's been on the show. Jardy asked, asked the guy, uh, like, what? what different classes there were. He was like, there's a million almost. Well, he didn't say there's a million. He said there's, there's way too many to count. He was like, because you can do pretty much anything because there's a bunch of skill trees. Way too many skill trees. Yeah. Like it, I just put it in the chat for you, Marion, if you haven't seen it. It's a free um, game, though. So, I mean, that's a plus. I mean, yeah, it's free. It's good. I don't think that it's riddled with microtransactions either, which is also good. And they okay. Really don't like that. Game. I want to play. I, you know what? I want to play. That's a skill tree. Yeah, bro. That's exactly. like an ant farm. <laughs> exactly, bro. Someone get yo niggas need to you need to just not be letting these. It's a free games. game. They want people not to get bored and just keep playing. I mean, the gameplay is bo- like it has a good gameplay loop. If how many characters it got? There are classes and stuff, but. I mean, you're really going to be doing the same thing no matter what. Like, have you seen, um, oh, what are those games? Uh, Dynasty Warriors? Like, have you, you know, that game series? I've heard of it. Yeah, where they, it's just like repetitive killing mobs over and over again with big flashy moves. Like, that's just it. And Bro, no matter what class, you, no matter what class, you, you know, ex- at least Warframe has like aiming and shit. At least I can say that. And no, like no, no. other human beings, yeah. And, and, and bro, and I, I think that's the thing too. Like, like I need, like I need my game to be very like, I don't know. I, I think it's the same reason why I don't fuck with many board games and stuff like that because I don't feel that sense of me in it. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel immersed in it. I feel like I'm just doing a thing, mm. like a tedious thing. You know what I mean? Like I'm playing cards and just like, okay, whatever. This. You know, and I think that's why I, I could never really stick with MOBAs, even though I've tried League like maybe like three times. I tried what was it, just the other one, Smite, like more than that, but it never stuck with me because I just feel like I'm just like I'm just like playing checkers or, or chess, I guess, because a little more like complex. But I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like I'm my character, you know? It, like I just feel very like not in control of things. Like, you, like Okay. Like I yeah, it's like I don't know. It just feels very like loose. It, like, it, like I don't feel immersed in it. And I think it's the exact opposite with FPS. Like I'm literally looking through the eyes of the of the of the avatar I'm playing as. Like this this thing I'm playing is an extension of me truly. Like, you know, so and I and I guess that's it, because like I look at any game that hits that other like vibe and I just I just look at it and I'm just, and I like get sick. I'm just like, nah, I'm miss me with that. Like, 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 are you even playing the game? Like, it don't really feel like I don't know. It's weird to me, but I think that's it. Yeah, because also that skill tree is ridiculous. I don't know who they. That's like a whole six characters they could have made. Yeah, it's like an entire spider's web made by like a colony of spiders. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, spiders don't even form colonies. I don't know, or maybe they do. I think some do. Anyway, the fighting game. I'm excited for this. Uh, I'm a huge fighting game scrub noob, but like, <laughs> I like watching people play fighting games at the highest levels. That is entertaining to me. And I occasionally like going in and getting booked online. Even though some yeah, people looked, get super salted about that kind of thing. Yeah, it, it looked pretty cool. Uh, yeah, for like, I like, for like it. small snippet I saw on IGN. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they have like... It looks- like one frame of Ari fighting Darius, and then they have like wire, not quite wire frames, but unfinished models of Jinx and Katarina fighting. And I'm just happy that both of my uh, league favorite characters are in uh, Jinx and Ari. And Kat- oh, wait, three. Katarina's in too. Oh. But it makes sense because like Jinx is pretty much one of the poster uh, characters for the game at this point. 
Yeah, that too. That's a very like interesting point because League has like a shit ton of characters, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. there's way too many. Yeah, Th so. they're going on one forty six is the newest that'll be released next month. Senna, one hundred and forty six um, characters. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, crazy dude. And they're reworking old characters too, on top of releasing new ones. Because some of these ones came out. Obviously, it's a ten year anniversary. They came out ten years ago, and their kits have barely changed. Um, yeah, they they've been working on them since like season good. three or two, even. So that'll uh, be cool to see. That's so interesting, bro. Like, that they have a mini. Yes, motherfucker. I mean, yeah. Dota got a shit ton of characters too, man. It's crazy. Okay, then I, that shit's interesting too. Like yeah, that's it's also nice. <laughs> it's hard. I mean, it's weird because in League you can see some redundancy. That's the one thing League like I. I, I commend Dota. Like, I don't nah, know. I mean, Dota's Dota's got it in some places. Dota has, but even much Smite more varied abilities. Yeah, it has much more. Characters. Dota has much more, and so does Smite. Smite also has, and they. I think Smite's at a hundred and eight, and they've been out since six years ago, seven years ago. Oh, really? I feel like it's been like eight for Smite, but has it been eight? Too, it might be eight. Long. It can't be. I know. I know. Yeah. But yeah, I want to know from like a new player, like somebody who's joining in on League, like, oh, I guess I'll check out this League of Legends game. Yeah, that's another like thing too. 146 I, people to yeah, learn. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that's it was that many, but I do remember that being a thing. That that was a big reason why. I, like, there was one point, I don't know if you got, nah, you probably remember, Aaron, because I made you get on League to try to help teach me. Mm. And I was really full fledged trying to give the game a chance. But then I was just like, bro, this is just too much to like learn, and I don't give a fuck enough. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think it's one of those things where, it, like, for me, I should have been there when I was what it came out ten years ago. But when, um, when I was twelve years old when the game first came out, I honestly think that the because mobile game, if you were ever interested in learning it, would be worth looking at. That's the thing. Of I'm PC not version because it's new. I, I ain't playing no mobile game. <laughs> yeah, he's mobile <laughs> or console. Yeah. All right, then. All right. Mobile or console, he too good I mean, for that. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just too late. Wait, you look, you look down on console gamers now. For shame. Yeah, I don't play that shit. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I remember when you He's were tripping. a console gamer. Yeah, you know, I remember. Talking most young, of my life. Talking to young Mary and me like you fucking casual, you stupid yeah, I asshole. Smite came out in 2014, by the way. Why'd you ask your parents for 2K? Why'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so it's only been out for five years bro yeah, that's yeah. crazy like bro like that's like trying to play chess and there's a hundred and some different type of suck my dick well i mean it seems it seems like that i thought that too i mean when i first started playing smite it wasn't as many characters as it was but when i was moving from smite to league i was already mad because i knew what kind of like what kind of time it takes to learn a moba hmm yeah, I've only been playing League for like two years. I guess like, that's the thing too, real, real. Son, like it just takes a while to first you, you gotta learn mechanics, then you gotta learn what each yeah, character does. And not, yeah, and for me, like I'm also learning what the fuck a MOBA is to I'm not even gonna lie to you. Some characters the I still don't know. They are weird it. to me. Like the controls are weird to me. I'll be clicking shit and zooming in. I'll be like, wait, hold up. Uh. On it's weird because like on Smite, I could tell you what every character's passive is, what they what what they like abilities I like do a little bit like when, like when we used to play like, i still Xbox. can't do that on, on was, league and i still oh, okay man i know all the freaking ability names on every character in league every passive every everything yeah but, exactly that's why that's why when i play yeah. with when i play with y'all i'll be like i hope y'all know i know a lot but not everything i'm that's one of those things too bro like i just don't keep up with patches because i i stopped caring about like every champion and i started just caring about like oh is this a champion that i play that got changed all right so then some yeah, shit I keep will come up, up with like, patches though. oh volibear has a knock up now it's like okay i guess i, keep, I should I write keep that. Up with, i keep up with the patches because i think that helps me still because like i said i did there's some characters i don't know they passive i know everybody's abilities like i know what their abilities look like like what they do yeah like at its core, if you're learning the the game just what you have to figure out is just if it's an enemy don't get hit but then there's other things that are one-off like oh this is how you interact with the thresh lantern if he's on your team like you have to just learn that there's no there's no right rule of thumb like it's an enemy ability don't get hit obviously um that's another thing too i have a hard time reverting all the way back to being like a complete noob when it comes to any game now 
Mm. I don't have like the patience anymore. Like I'm not a little kid anymore. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to get bent over backwards in my legs, you know, like, <laughs> and, if I, and if I am like complete ass, I just accept that and don't give a fuck. And with a game like league, I'm never going to learn nothing. Like it's going to take extra long to learn shit. If I was over here bullshitting the whole time. Yeah. If you're not trying to, which is what I do when I play games like Fortnite and shit, I'm just like, ah, whatever. This is fuck it. Like, like this is jokes. You know what I mean? But a game like League, for one, no one gonna wanna play with me. And two is what? like You have a whole bunch of people that would play with you. What the fuck are you on about? Bro, me and you just throwing. I would You don't give no fuck. <laughs> Jardy and them don't care. I want you to know that right now. Jardy will literally sit there and play with you. I play with my friends. I was playing with Kevin and them. Kevin them Kevin them played one MOBA and it was Paragon. That's on P that's PS4. Paragon that got... was mad cool, bro. What happened? They got Wait, shut right? down. But yeah, nah, I know, it but got like, shut down. Like, I think Epic gave up on it, bro. Yeah, they just kind of quit. Because Fortnite was probably because Fortnite, Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, they couldn't really do decided to put all the assets into Fortnite. That's sad though, because that game was cool. It looked cool. Oh yeah, it was, like, was. It was cool, and it was gorgeous. Like in terms of the graphics, it was, it was yeah. I was gonna say that was the best part about it. It, it was actually gorgeous as fuck. It was like, one of the best looking games out ever. Like crazy shit. And it's fucking, it's fucking over the yeah, shoulder. They gave up on that shit. And yeah, that, that, that breaks there. So actually, speaking about Fortnite, Fortnite just had an update. Do y'all know anything about it? I know like tiny bits. Like I saw the battle pass and shit. It looks actually looks kind of whack. The only the only good skin was like <laughs> the very last skin. And like talking to some kids and stuff from work, they were just like, This battle pass, doo doo, this is getting whack. <laughs> it's so funny to me because like they complain about the game once so much, but they're like, they literally pulls out their phone and is trying to play. And I'm like, put your phone away. You can't have your phone out. <laughs> if I gotta play Fortnite, I gotta get the skins. <laughs> like, because of the crackheads, bro. I think the best thing about Fortnite is the dancing. Uh, I mean, I've been all the stolen. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I've been based to dancing. I've been doing that shit all the time now. Fortnite dancing in real life. Yeah, I know, bro. It's a, I mean, it's a religion. I would say like <laughs> cringe, but I mean, like I just said, they're all stolen anyway. So you're just doing real dances. No, no, no. But it's the way you produce, like it's the way you do them. You do them like a little Fortnite kid. Oh, like you do I, the floss dance ridiculously fast to the point where you might throw out your back, <laughs> might need a hip replacement, <laughs> and crack your ankles. You know what I mean? Like, like you gotta OD with it. And you also got like stare at an adult's granny eyes and be like, you can't do this. Like, yeah, and just say, we like Fortnite. We like Fortnite while you're doing Fortnite, it. Fortnite, we like Fortnite. Fortnite, Fortnite. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. Ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, bro. I'm about to play it. I think I'm going to update it tonight so I can play it. I'm back on that Fortnite grind, boys. Yeah. I don't know. Do you care about fighting games, Josh? I used to be a big fighting game fan when I was younger. I don't know why. Like, if ain't Mortal Kombat, it's a dumb. <laughs> oh, I like Mortal Kombat. I like Mortal Kombat. Guilty Gear is coming out with a new Guilty Gear called Guilty yeah. Gear. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and I still want to try Dragon Ball Fighter Z, but I want to you to go back on sale. Oh yeah, I liked that. Got, that got me back into it too to like actually play one fighters. Even if people say that it's like a, a casual game. I will game, try this fighter. Game. Though, I will definitely try this Riot Fighter. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm main in that. Because it has three of my, my league wives in it already. How can I not play it? If it's free to play, I'll play it. Oh, right. I think, yeah. all of them, I think all of them are sounding like they're about to be. I mean, it's Riot, man. They're yeah. going to make money off their in-game yeah. freaking skins. They already made billions of dollars <laughs> in microtransactions. <laughs> And they still get more because I'm about to spend some money and get these skins in my shop. Yeah, um, my shop wasn't. That my good. shop is good. I spent so many Diana games. They gave me no Diana skins. They gave me a Bard skin with sixty percent off discount on it. Like why? I played Kale twice and they gave me the Kale Aether. Now hold on, that's video not the thing, bro. Give us legendaries. You can't even see a character. Why you want skins? What? And what game? Yes, you can. What are you talking about, bro? I played the game. I can't see the nigga, bro. I, and, I'm looking at the top of his head, bro. I, what the fuck? Oh, what? but it's... What? That's not the same. Bro, first of all, you can scroll in. <laughs> same. I know, but I'm looking at the top of his <laughs> head the whole game. Fuck, I want to, like... I don't you, know, but bro. you can see the skins, bro. Trust me. And then it's not just the, like, the skins they got on. It's the skin effects. A lot of the Article effects. effects, voice lines. Voice lines. It's amazing. 
But yeah, it's, oh, not okay. a straight, it's not a straight up bird's eye view, though. It's three fourths. It's like the Diablo. Bro, right bro, that shit look doo doo. I don't know. I like, I, don't... I feel good when I got, when you got a certain skin on, Marion, it, you snap like this, man. It's crazy. And you play crazy. better. You let everybody know how good you are. You spent and money. if you play bad, they're going to be like, refund that. See, look. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Re- refund that shit. Too bad. <laughs> but, I don't know, bro. Because I mean, like, the thing about Overwatch and Destiny, you could emote, and I can start dancing with my new armor and shit, and, and like, I look good, you know? And like, I see, see my gun. I think and skins you, in Overwatch and, are bullshit for that exact reason. And you reason. see your gun that whole time. I you think a I mean? skin, uh, a gun skin is fine, but skin skins in Overwatch are so stupid because emoting is just a way to fucking die. <laughs> There's absolutely no way to emote if you're in a competitive game and think this is the optimal play right now, which is why I don't like it. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't play that shit to be optimal. I don't play that shit to fuck niggas up and laugh. Like, I think the golden guns are cool. Like, having golden Genji shurikens is, like, neat, so you can miss them all or whatever. But Plus, the thing so is, cool, games. Bro, what happens when you get to play the game and everybody gets to see your cool skin and you violate the six niggas? Like, that shit letty. Ooh. That shit fire. But then, like, a nigga over here talking about Ah, my favorite cheese or whatever in league, like the rat niggas. Whatever the fuck hey, hey, you play you, Twitch. Why don't you mess around with my boy? Yeah, rat nigga, and he got a mm, fucking Twitch TV Twitch. Rabbit Twitch. Skin. Yeah. No, he doesn't. That's yeah, fair. No, it's like my favorite cheese. Or it's like some shit, right? That's his line. That's that's Twitch. Nah, the rabbit the skin is fizz. Sure. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm just, I was just making that up. I didn't know it was actually a rabbit skin, but fuck like I mean, four I mean when you skins. got 200 characters, I mean, you got 200 characters with 40 skins each, you just might have a rabbit skin, I guess, right? There's Battle Bunny Riven, uh, Cottontail Fizz, Cottontail Teemo. Wait, Fizz. does, um, does, uh, there's another rabbit skin. Does uh, Bunny, Battle, Battle Bunny, uh, you said Riven, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, Catfish mm-hmm, that's it. That's it. Oh, Tom Kench. Yeah, I was surprised when you just mentioned Tom Kench off the cuff that one. Yeah. I'm Bench the Kench. Kench. I'm Bench the Kench. Yeah. And don't he like eat his teammates? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, you got a little game is... in him. He need, you need to come back and play the game, man. Game Jardy and then we'll play that. Let's do that for a day. Um, We're going to plan it out. We're going to have me, Jardy, Aaron. That's thing too, no, and that's thing too, though. Like with serious games, I get too serious. I'm be tight. I don't even be mad. We're gonna be trying to teach you, bro. You ain't gonna get you ain't mad. Yeah, I'm playing Overwatch, bro. <laughs> we were supposed to do that a, a grip ago. Yo ass lie. I be playing it. It's just no one else be on. I don't play with Jardy's doing the doing the event because he wants that Ashkin. So let's say one closing thought on Riot declaring war on all the games, all the games and all the game companies. They even threw shade at Blizzard by saying uh we realize that you guys do in fact have phones after Blizzard had their whole you guys don't need, don't you guys have phones thing when they released Diablo Mobile that nobody gave a good goddamn about? That's <laughs> true. <laughs> All right, so close your thoughts. Yeah, so there was TFT Mobile, uh, um, League Mobile, card game, shooter, dungeon crawler that apparently nobody here is going to play, fighting game, board game, which we won't even fucking touch. It's a dungeon crawler. That's like some slave I'm shit. I'm playing <laughs> everything <laughs> but the dungeon. I'm playing everything but the dungeon. Dungeon cost like some BDS. And the card game, game bro. <laughs> yeah, I, them two dungeon can that's cost, cap. Man. Everything but them two. I'm playing. No, no problem. I'm probably gonna try the FPS because you gotta try new FPSs. Of course. Every I'm time tired of, I'm tired of just playing Destiny all the time. Well, not really, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not a gamer. I just play Destiny, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, you remember he was talking shit about gamers? Yeah, I don't like y'all niggas. And um, what do you mean y'all? You First bitch. I don't and, play um, video games. I play League. Man, fuck them. But what was the other? Nah, yeah, you're right. League is not a video game. It's just some bullshit. And what was the other thing? The other game? Oh wait, bro, y'all even talk about their um their fucking cartoon that's coming out or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. they are coming out with an anime. Yeah, yeah bro. Y'all shit goes hard. Wait, it's yeah. not an it's not an anime. I don't think it's an anime. It's, it's bro. not an anime. It's not an anime. It's, an it's anime. like three D CGI, three D CG or okay. whatever. Well, I just wanted to say okay. that it looked like ass. It looks good, man. I, I like, like it. That shit looks like I would never watch. You gonna watch it? That shit like I'm gonna make you watch it. I'm gonna make you watch it. You watch it. 
And what what was some other thing that has some business doing that they ain't supposed to be doing? I some show and some other shit, bro. Fuck it. I don't remember. Oh, they're making like a documentary about the making of growth of league. Oh no. No, 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 no. That seemed decent to me. I don't know what the other thing was. But I remember that show. Fuck that shit. I ain't watching that. I might watch that documentary so I can know why the hell these niggas is crazy. And I'll try the FPS and I'll probably watch like a highlight video of like the fighting game at some point. That's it though. Fuck fuck everything else. I'll probably play everything, at least a little bit. TFT Mobile, I might get. I mean, I don't have a phone, so I can't even do that. I don't have a phone for Wild Rift either, so. Uh, yeah. Card game, I'll try it, but I'm probably not going to stick with it. Shooter, I'll try it with other people, but otherwise I wouldn't play it solo. Dungeon Crawler, if it's fun, maybe I'll do it if I have, like, nothing else to do. If it's just, like, I don't want to get into, like, a heavy game. Um, fighting game, definitely. Esports team builder manager thing that we mentioned. But oh, I'm... that's what it was. That seemed cool to me, actually. That sounds cool. Like, it yeah, sounds... I, actually, I, spe- like... I specifically didn't mention it because I thought everybody would be like, and to just <laughs> say nothing after <laughs> no, I finished. That... Bro, that was the one thing I was like, oh, so they can have all these like sweaty neck beard pro niggas who play league. And I think they're more like, like just team building. And they're going and are you gonna be able to make your own team and have like your fantasy team? I thought that was cool because I was like, I think that would be cool for other games. Like I hope other game companies do that too, where they're like pro players, have like fantasy leagues for like whatever other fucking games, have like a consistent pro scene. I don't know. Like I just thought it was cool. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat, actually. Yeah, I too am interested in the trading and selling of human beings. Virtually, of course. No. Uh, anyway, that was our episode. 